Alright, what up everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to this vlog. Here to give you a preview of the Michigan Wolverines for the 2017 college football season. Head coach Jim Harbaugh and company, this team actually had a good year. 10 wins last season, capping off their season with a close Orange Bowl loss against the Florida State Seminoles. The team did go 10-3 overall. Now, they do have some key losses offensively, particularly in the receiving core, which is going to be the biggest void that they have offensively. And uh, they lost Amara D uh, Darbo, uh, Jake Butt, the, um, a good uh, tight end, as well as Genu uh, Chenson. That's just some tough break for um, quarterback in Wilton um, Spate, who did pass for over 25 yards 18 touchdown passes and seven NITs so Dylan Crawford Eddie McDowell and Nate Johnson they're gonna be the new faces of the receiving core I'm looking more at Dylan Crawford for this upcoming season for the Wolverines to help out Wilton Spate so Spate is gonna be have to do well in leading this team to more victories especially coming off building better chemistry good chemistry with these new upcoming wide receivers and they do have tight end and end button to replace um uh, Jake Butt. But I also do like the return of running backs in Isaac, uh, uh, Ty Isaac and Chris Evans. Isaac should get the bulk of the carries for this upcoming season, but Chris Evans will get his his fair share of carries as well. I think this is going to be a good tandem for Coach Jim Harbaugh, a good uh, uh, switch up tandem as far as the speed in both of these two players. They have different kind of styles of running, but I do like Isaac a little bit better. I think he's more of a home run threat. Now, defensively, they had a lot of voice that they had to fill in. Starting with the defensive line, they lost both Chris Wormley and Taco Charlton. Taco Charlton was actually drafted by the Dallas Cowboys as well as Ryan uh, uh, Glasgow. So Chris uh, Winovich is going to have to really step it up this year, be a true leader defensively. Now, as far as the linebacker core, I do like linebacker um, Mike McCray, the senior, to help lead the way. And they also lost um, Ben Gideon as well on the defensive side. Now, other key losses that they had in the secondary, they had a tough break with Jabril. Real peppers and Jordan um and uh Jordan uh Lewis as well as the uh Delano uh Delano Hill, who's actually no longer with the team as well. So they actually lost the entire starting secondary as well as Kalik uh, Hudson. So this is going to be um, a tough break. Kalik Hudson and actually Devin Bush, I apologize. They're going to have to step it up as far as the secondary. And I'm looking a lot at Devin Bush as far as the cornerback position. I think he's a good athlete, and I think he could be a star as a freshman. Now, I did mention uh, Jordan Lewis, and they also, I forgot, I mentioned uh, they actually lost uh, Jeremy Clark. I mentioned uh, Kalik Hudson. He's uh, actually going to be playing for this upcoming season they do have Lavert Hill and uh, Josh Metellus uh, Tyree uh, Kennel and uh, David Long and uh, defensive coordinator Don Brown going to have some good players. I think they Michigan has been doing a pretty decent job as far as in the recruiting process. So I think that Don Brown will still have a pretty solid defense for this upcoming season despite all mainly the key losses in uh, Warmly, uh, Taco Charlton, Jabril Preppers, Peppers, and uh, Jordan Lewis. Those are the four key losses defensively. But I do have the return of Mike McCray and I think that Don Brown will still get the job done as a good defensive coordinator for the Wolverines. Now it's time to take a look at their schedule. September 2nd, they're going to actually be playing in Arlington to open up the season against the Florida Gators. That's just going to be a good SEC uh, uh, test for this Big Ten team. September the 9th against Cincinnati. I think they should pull off the victory in that. October 2nd, as mentioned earlier tonight, between the Mich uh, will be a game against the Michigan State Spartans. Big Brother versus Little Brother matchup. October 21st is going to be at Penn State. That's just going to be a key matchup in the Big Ten East Division. November the 4th against Minnesota. Minnesota can actually still pull off a couple upsets this upcoming season. It's going to be hard for me to select which upset it will be, but I think that the Golden Gophers will pull off a couple of upsets. November the 18th is going to be at Wisconsin. The Badgers teams for the past couple of seasons, particularly on the defensive unit, are doing a great job. This is a good um, lunch pail type uh, team. November the uh, 25th is going to be at, at oh, oh, actually hosting Ohio State as their big time rivalry. It's going to be at Ann Arbor, so they do have the home field advantage. Advantage, but the Buckeyes has been owning the Wolverines over the past uh, 15 seasons, starting off when the when Jim uh, Trussell took over at the helm of quarterback, and Urban Meyer's been still doing a great job 
for the Buckeyes. This is going to be a tough task for the Michigan uh, Wolverines this season because they did lose last season against the Buckeyes. Now, taking a look at their schedule, I think this team is going to go 8-5 and five overall, drop a couple of losses, but I do like to return a Wilton Spate. I think he could be a good Heisman dark horse in the Big Ten of division, or at least a player of the year in the Big Ten Conference, a good candidate, an early uh, dark horse candidate earlier for the season. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. I have more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.